Hi everybody, my name is Matt Elliott. I'm with Guarantee RV Centers here in Junction City, Oregon, and I'm gonna show you on this beautiful day, I'm gonna show you the new Winnebago 170C ERA, or ERA. This is a Class B motorhome built on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis. The, the Class Bs are so exciting because they're an RV, but they're, they're uh, very good on fuel. This particular one has a, a three liter V6 turbo diesel engine, and it's gonna get up to 22 miles to the gallon, where a typical motorhome you drive gets eight, nine miles to the gallon. So it's a much different kind of uh, opportunity to have an RV you can drive like that. It's also small enough to fit into little towns and go places that you can't go with a great big motorhome. So people like this for versatility and mobility. It's, it's pretty cool. Let's take a look inside and then I'll show you the rest. Come on in. Boy, it's got this nice big grab handle here, easy to get in and out. This has a, a nice thing about the Mercedes is you don't have to duck when you go in. There's plenty of headroom coming in and this is plenty height in here too. It's very comfortable. So the whole thing about a camper van is to make sure it has all the things that a van needs to be an RV and get it into a tight space. So let's start back here. And this has a full size shower that you can go in very easily. And then there's an access on this back door. There's a waterproof access. That goes back into a storage area at the back of the vehicle and that's accessible from the inside here or from the outside through the rear cargo doors. It's nice that this has a glass shower enclosure so we can close that off. And then look at, we have a beautiful, beautiful bathroom, all LED lighting, fantastic vent fan up. That's really what it's called. It really moves air out. And it really, so the, the moisture and the, the mustiness that happens in a bathroom, choop, goes right out. Got storage here, got a nice porcelain toilet, beautiful counter space, nice sink, all of that. Now, this one is really unique because it has so much storage. This is a big cabinet here, it's a shirt locker, your TV stands are in there, but then you also have storage in here. Let's see if we can do this side, it'll be easier for you to see. All shelving there, and then this one here, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, there you go. More storage here, and then lots and lots of drawers, big ones like this, big cabinets down here. I mean, it's amazing. Those are actually access panels to parts of the vehicle too, so not so much storage there, but just tons of space. And this one here has a charging station built in. It is a solar panel uh, equipped vehicle, so it'll keep your batteries going. Of course, it has a generator and all that. We have a beautiful new kitchen from Winnebago here. You can see the stainless sink, the bamboo cutting board. This is, this is uh, your three burner stove. All done in stainless, very nice. And a window, a lot of galleys don't have windows in them. And then the, also too, this has a slide out and it, it's amazing. There aren't any B vans with slide outs. People are always asking, well, what if I want a slide out but I only want a little rig? You don't have any choices but this. There just aren't very many people out there that have designed a successful slide out plan for a camper van, but this one works great. And of course, just like the rest of the coach, you see we've got more places for storage. And then this is what makes into a bed. And if we look down here, it's pretty easy to operate. It just comes out like this. And you can see there's some seat belts down there. So if you want to secure some folks for driving, you can do that. And there's your bed, big enough for two people. It's easy to put away too. All you got to do is flip it down like this. And off you go. Let's take a look at the uh, driver's compartment here. So this is kind of a neat setup because remember, this is a Mercedes. And so it's got a lot of great elements in it. Of course, it has all of the redundant features on the steering wheel for running your stereo, doing Bluetooth for your phone and all that. 
This has navigation, it has a backup camera. It's got a neat feature that a lot of people don't have. It's got a battery boost system. So if for some reason my engine battery gets low, too low to start the vehicle, I can use the house batteries from the coach to start the vehicle. I can take power from the house to help start the vehicle. And I can even have the generator on so I can make power for starting the my engine and recharging the coach batteries. It's kind of a nice little circle of power supplies that work together. Uh, they're wonderful to drive because they're, they, they handle extremely well. They're very poised. They have four wheel disc brakes and that's very unusual. Also, because they don't have a great big engine compartment here, I got room for my feet. Look at over here. You don't have your feet wedged in between a fender well and a big giant engine block. You know, like a Ford has a great big housing here. These are very roomy in there and they're comfortable. The seats are quite adjustable. The visibility is great. And Winnebago's built in a shade that pulls across from both sides so we can have privacy that way. They're thinking about a lot of stuff. And this is also less expensive than the other Mercedes chassis uh, B vans you see out there from some of the competitive companies. Some of them are as much as $185,000 now. There's so much technology coming out. But Winnebago's a leader in building RVs that are very high quality for a great price. And that's why they've been around so long. Uh, I've been to the factory and I'm very impressed with the company and I have been for a long, long time. Let's take a look outside and see what we got going on there. So first thing is you can see once again, it's very easy to get in and out of this. There's a great feature here. This has got a built-in sliding screen door and it's, it's just beautiful and it obviously it lets you have the fresh air and the sunlight without all the bugs. That's what's nice about that. Let's take a look around the front. There's no mistaking this is a Mercedes Benz. It's, it's absolutely the most attractive RV. If you have a neighborhood where there's an association rules where you can't park a big motorhome in your driveway, you'll be able to park this because this looks like a nice passenger vehicle from Mercedes. Uh, no problems in most cases with that. They have beautiful uh, aluminum this is a, 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 the longest of the Sprinter chassis. This is a 24-foot chassis, and it has dual rear wheels, so it's got a lot of capacity. It's a very good vehicle for driving that way. Here's the slide out as it looks when it's slid out. It really doesn't take up too much space, so if you're in a, in a tight quarters, you can still get your slide out. And of course, this vehicle, when the slide's in, you could still use everything in it. It's not a problem. It won't interfere with getting to the bathroom or the kitchen or anything like that. I want to point out that they put a, a nice slide topper awning up at the top of this and what that does for you is it keeps debris off the top of your slide so you can bring it in and there won't be a pine cone or something stuck up there. Over here we've got a swing away spare tire carrier which is brilliant and that's going to allow us to get to this rear storage area which you can see here. We've got extra plug-ins, there's a wash-down station, there's 12-volt outlet, and there's access to your, your area in here from the shower. And there's some, there's some uh, fastening devices in here that make it easy to hang stuff on the wall. It's great to just have a little extra storage. Also, you can see here, this has a nice heavy-duty tow hitch. This will pull 5,000 pounds. You've got a barbecue connector here if you want to run a propane appliance there, you've got that. And then last, let's just take a look down this, the appearance of this vehicle. It's just gorgeous. It's got a nice monochrome look with the big blackout window package. Here's a solar power panel connector. If you want to add additional solar, you can do that. Uh, it just is a really cool rig. So again, this is a 170C from Winnebago. It's called uh, ERA 170C. We've got it here at Garrity RV in Junction City, Oregon. If you have any questions or you'd like to see it in person, just come by and ask for me. My name is Matt Elliott, or give me a call. My number is 541-954-8495. Thanks for watching. You have a great day.